He's got that warrior spirit, physically strong, well-conditioned, all of that. Add that with, he trains in the West, he trains over here, and he's got a, little bit of, he got a little bit of that swagger to him. He's got a little bit of that athleticism, the level changes, the in and out. Um, it's a different kind of style, but he's meld them so well that he makes me think he's a very dangerous opponent for, for an Iowa. Anyway. Welcome everyone to Boxing Scene's Top Stories, only on Pro Box TV, your boxing channel. I am George D. Metellus. Don't forget to download the app, the Pro Box TV app, to get the full experience of what we offer here on your boxing channel. We have the champions in the building. We got Chris Algieri and Pauli Malinaji joining us here on Top Stories. Well, as Naoya anyway heads into his September 3rd undisputed super bantamweight title defense in Tokyo against TJ Doheny, he may be considering staying in the division for one more high-profile fight. According to matchmaker Brad Goodman, he told Boxing Scene that there is definite interest in staging a fight between Inoue and three-division current bantamweight champion Junto Nakatani and Inoue, those two getting together, and that's following Nakatani's October 14th title defense in that festival of boxing in Japan over two days. All right, Paulie, is Junto Nakatani the one who can defeat Inoue, and how massive would that fight be in Japan? I don't know if he's the one who can do it, but he's certainly a guy who's built up a lot of momentum. He needs some impressive wins, even some impressive knockouts. You know, he he's a guy who's getting a lot of people talking. And Japan, it doesn't typically create these, all of these crossover type fighters. They create a lot of some boxing stars over, you know, win world championships, and they become stars in Japan. But Nakatani's starting to reach, I wouldn't say Inouye status as far as being on all over the world, but he's starting to really be in the conversation where boxing fans anywhere will know him. You know, he's a championship-level fighter. He's been impressive enough. I don't know if he's the guy who can beat Inouye. Right now, we don't really know who the guy who can beat Inouye is. But Nakatani is got has got now enough of a resume and enough of a notoriety to where people are going to be interested. Obviously, Japan it becomes a huge fight, I think. You know, And then... Outside of Japan, that's a, there's a lot of interest because no way in a way fa uh, fights are generating more and more interest even outside of Japan. Nakatani is a guy who even outside of Japan is generating curiosity. Dude, I mean, people outside of Japan are going to tune in. I wouldn't say in droves, but there's going to be plenty of people outside of Japan. They're going to be really, really excited about this fight and want to watch this fight. And then, like I said, uh, uh, within Japan, it is huge. I mean, this is like probably billboards all over the place type of, type of fight huge in Japan. So, uh, you know, I... Really, if, if it's in the conversation, could you see any other fight that Inoue could do that really could be this big? He could go up to featherweight and, and fight for the World Featherweight Championship. I don't know if it would it would be as big as this. Inoue Nakatani right now is probably the biggest fight for both guys for several reasons. And, and it would be huge in the Japanese market. Yeah, champ, I agree. This is a, this is a massive, massive fight. And I think even Iowa Inoue understands that. This, is, this would be the biggest fight. That's that name fight that could be made right now, um, yeah, for, even for Inoue. So, and it, when it comes to Nakatani, is he the guy that could beat Inoue? Just like you said, champ, I don't know if he's the guy, but he's got the style too. I'll tell you that much. I also said that about Stephen Fulton. I was wrong there. But also Nakatani has something that Stephen Fulton doesn't. He's got the length and the power. The guy can punch. I've called a bunch of his fights on the way up for top rank undercards. He's got some incredible highlight reel knockouts. One of them was against Maloney on the undercard of Haney and Lomachenko, which had a lot of eyes. One of the reasons one why punch. he's run punch one knockout. Punch. I mean, he put a beating on Maloney all night long, dropped him multiple times. But that finisher, oof, one of the most brutal knockouts I've ever seen live. And uh, I've, I've seen some nasty ones. But Nakatani, man, he's got it all. He's got, I say it a, a lot about him, he's got that Japanese style and mentality, right? He's got that warrior spirit, physically strong, well-conditioned, all of that. Add that with, he trains in the West, he trains over here, and he's got a, little bit of, he got a little bit of that swagger to him. He's got a little bit of that athleticism, the level changes, the in and out. Um, it's a different kind of style, but he's meld them so well that he makes me think he's a very dangerous opponent for, for an Iowa. Anyway, then you add the fact that he's a southpaw and he's really tall and he's got long arms. Super, super impressive every time out, especially recently. He's got the power, he's got the length, he's got the boxing skills, and he's got the Japanese warrior spirit. Man, this fight, this, this, this could be huge. Do it over there, forget it. I'm, 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 I'm getting my passport, I'm getting my <laughs> tickets. I, I passport will travel. I want to see this fight live, and I want to see it in Tokyo. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big, big deal, man. I mean, you're starting to see also, I think the, 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 
when fighters from Asia start to start to start travel and, and train in the West, yeah. they, they start to, it's almost like a promoting thing as well. You're training in the West, you're gaining a lot of notoriety in the West, but you're also adding to your boxing style because Western boxing styles are a little bit different than Eastern boxing styles. But also you build up your reputation within the gyms and people talk and, and then people, you know, start to know about you and then you live up to it in the fights. Now the people in the West are all about you as well. And so you're seeing that with Nakatani. You, I remember the Komeda brothers as well, Koki and Tomoki Komeda. Uh, uh, Komeda were also uh, a big deal. They're tra out, training out here in the West. And of course, the Asian market in general is huge, but I think the first guy that really started training at least became a big deal from the Asian market to come to the U.S. and train in the West was Manny Pacquiao. And you see, when guys sort of follow those footsteps, they become a big deal. We haven't seen in a way do it yet, but who knows? You know, this is it could be something he ends up doing as well. But right now, this fight's huge. And interesting, obviously, if Nakatani fights in a way, you get some, what, early morning boxing as well to start your day there. Two of the best fighters on the planet going head-to-head. -head. That would be a fascinating fight. That's probably going to be in 2025, assuming that Nakatani defends his title in that festival of fights October 13th and 14th in Japan, which, by the way, will be available in the U.S. on ESPN+. Plus. All right, champs, thank you very much. We always appreciate you here on Top Stories. And don't forget to scan the QR code and download the app where apps are available for the full experience of what we have to offer here on Pro Box TV, including the best live fight series in all of boxing, Wednesday Night Fights. Another one coming up September 11th. I am George DiMatellis, and that does it for Boxing Scene's Top Stories. Wednesday Night Fights. Dynamite action on Wednesday Night Fights every other Wednesday on your boxing channel. Coming up on your next Wednesday Night Fights, September 11th. Rising Guatemalan star Lester Martinez puts his O on the line against fellow undefeated warrior Joe Sean, Sean Time James. Live from the ProBox Event Center in Plant City. Get your tickets at ProBoxTV.com or take your chances at the door. Wednesday Night Fights. For more ProBox TV, scan the QR code on the screen or go to the App Store and Google Play. ProBox TV, your boxing channel.